All right, guys. Well, some of you watched the video I did on triangle edit versus parallel four link suspension. All right, and I got some requests to explain three link suspension. So I'm gonna do that right now. All right, so look, same as always, we got our frame rails, pumpkin, axle, tires. All right, no, my draw is not the greatest, guys, bear with me. Uh, side view, axle, whatever, okay? So look, I'm about to show you four link again, so that way I can kind of bring in the three link real quick. Okay, four link, you're gonna have your trailing bars, the bars on the bottom here and here. On the side, they're gonna look like this, okay? Then you're gonna have your upper bars. Now with parallel, of course, they'll run the same here, all right? And then can't forget about that pan heart, all right? Always gonna have that pan heart right there on, the, on it. All right, that's four link parallel, okay? So, All right, so then triangulate it real quick. We're gonna have bottom bars as always. And then remember, triangulate it. The top ones go like this, which still look like this over here. All right. Now, so three link, it's gonna come into play as close as this. Three link, all you're doing is removing this bar and adding a pan heart. Like so, okay? Now, the reason that people run three links normally is gonna be a lot of off-road applications, rock crawlers, things like that. Now, the reason they do that is because a lot of times the front drive shaft is got an offset pumpkin on it, okay? So let's see, this is the front of the car this way, okay? So you've got your frame but your pumpkin might be off center to your drive wheels, okay? So when that drive shaft comes up, it's coming like that to the transfer case, all right? So when you try to install a, um, suspension on it, you got your bottom bars, but guess what? You can't run the top bars because the drive shaft gets in the way. So that's why people run a three link is so that they can run this other one like that, and a pan heart, and nothing gets in the way of travel. That axle is gonna go up and down just fine and not hit anything. So that's why you might wanna look at a three link if you're dealing with offset pumpkin or some off-road applications, okay? So I hope this works for everybody. Um, if you have other questions or this didn't clear it up, just let me know and I'll try to figure out what exactly you're looking for, all right? All right, guys, you have a great day. Thanks a lot.